Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Art Epidemic and today I'm going to be showing you how I use the Prismacolor Premier uh, 12 piece graphite set that I showed you in the last episode and as you guys could tell it was very 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 bad video quality by the way excuse the bad lighting it is later on in the day and I was not able to do this earlier today it is a Monday I'm sorry you guys I'm doing this oh Usually, I try to get a video out for you guys by Friday or Sunday, and I am filming on a Monday. That is really, really bad. So, I apologize if this is coming a week late. I was not meaning to do that. Forgive me. Anyway, so, like I said, lighting's a little janky, so just deal with it. <laughs> anyway, so today, I uh, actually am doing a self-portrait, all completely in uh, graphite pencils. Um, the video quality may or may not be good depending on what I can get, again, lighting, um, and I'll be doing it in a place where there's not going to be a whole lot of light. So we're just going to have to see what I can do, um, but hopefully I will be able to um, explain everything I do in the intro, or in the, not in the intro, this is the intro. Hopefully I'll be able to explain everything in the voiceover. This is going to have a lot of bloopers. Anyway, by the way, any bloopers you see will probably be on my vlog channel. So go ahead and check that out. Link will be in the card. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get into the demo. Hello everybody, so um, just a few things to go over before I really get into the drawing. Um, first of all, the sketchbook I'm using is not the kind that I would use for an actual graphite drawing. If I was making a good graphite drawing, which I really should have planned this out ahead of time, but anyway, uh, I would have used um, my colored pencil thing pad that I used the last time for the swatches of the colored pencils in this set, but instead I decided to sketch it out on a piece of paper, then without thinking it turned out so good, at least good enough for, in my opinion, to actually just go ahead and finish it because I was too scared to actually do it again. Ugh, artist problems. Problems. Oh my word, this voiceover is going to be so bad. Enunciate, Tunisia. Okay, so, um... To the actual drawing itself, uh, as you can see, I have my reference photo in the corner over there. The original is actually in color, but um, in order to make it black and white, because most of the time my eyes are trying to see color, it I tend I tend to um, make it a little bit more muddy every time um, I try to shade when I just see the color. So I turned it into a black and white photo. It's very, very easy to do. Most people have editors on their phone built in. And so just make it a black and white photo. And uh, then you can go ahead and just see all the values for what they are. And so that's what I did. Um, and that helped an awful lot when it came to shading. Because, oh my word, you guys, shading is a lot harder than I thought in order to make it realistic. The clothes, oh my word, was so bad. The face, I could actually get the shading right. The clothes, oh my goodness, I can't draw wrinkles for the life of me, first of all. Second of all, um, uh, shading for wrinkles is worse. So, please forgive me if it ends up looking muddy and like a bunch of crazy. Um, because as you know, that will always happen when it comes to my art. Anyway, I'm pretty sure my favorite words to say are, um, anyway... And moving on and and <laughs> um, yeah there we go with the ums again so I use uh, only the uh, 18 piece Prismacolor graphite set and I, I could have used uh, another set I had but I decided not to because honestly these had all of the different range uh, different shade ranges that I needed by the way, I'm also playing around with uh, camera angles. So if you guys like this camera angle just for fun, sorry that I'm actually drawing off screen because my brain forgot that, you know, that part would be off screen. So sorry about that. I will try to fix up the next time. But let me know if you like some of the camera angles that I'm going for right now. If not, also let me know. <laughs> um, so 
when it came to this drawing, I'm like, okay, I want to practice with graphite because I'm really bad at it. And so I, I was like, okay, what's something that I know roughly how to do? I know how to draw girls. Okay, that's a start. What else can I do? Oh, that's right. I've done self-portraits of myself before. Granted, it was in watercolor, but close enough. So I decided to grab a picture that I liked of myself, um, and this picture was taken um, when me and my dad kind of went for a mini photo shoot, just playing around, having some fun with uh, photography, um, camera, and um, so we're just going around, having fun, and that was one of the shots that we took that night, and uh, it turned out really good. I really do love it. And uh, one of the shots from that night actually is the icon from my vlog channel. Link again is in the card. <laughs> I'm sorry, I give myself a little shameless self promos. Any hoozles? Wait, who else is that? Any hoozles? I want to say it's like a. Uh... John with Waddles? Or something like that? Anyway. Another artist on here, which by the way, Drawing with Waffles is amazing. Um, yeah, anyway. So as you can see, I'm trying to get really good nitty gritty, get a good blending stump in there. Some people can blend with their hands or with a chamois. I can't, that's too messy. Even with a chamois, because then you want to use your chamois later, and if you want to use it, then you got to make sure you find a spot that has not been used. <laughs> which for me would be very, very hard. <laughs> so I just like to use blending stumps most of the time. Also, this crease over here, um, I'm almost there. There it is. Um, <laughs> that area is so hard because it has to be really, really dark. In the picture, it is really dark. So I'm trying to get that as dark as humanly possible without making it look like a, a, a muddy mess. But I'm pretty sure it still turned out to be a muddy mess anyway. But we are coming towards the end of this video, and I know I rambled on about literally nothing, but I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, let me know if you like these camera angles, and if there's anything you guys want me to try next. Um, just, like, let me know. Again, with the blue, really, really sorry. I apologize way too much. Anyway, thank you for watching, you guys, and I hope I see you in my next video. Alright, thanks. Bye!